What if we could power data centers with the sun? Well, then we could build a world that's quieter, that generates less heat, that uses less energy, that saves water for other uses like crops and for our forests. We wanted to try it. And so we built what we call the data terrarium. It is just a shopping cart and some simple tools. And that's kind of the magic of it is this isn't meant to be something inaccessible. Anyone could do it. And that's kind of the whole point. So today, obviously, we have these massive data centers and they're all shared among all the users that are using them. And your data moves to them. But if you imagine a world where maybe we have data centers that look more like data terrariums, you bring the whole data and computation center to you and your data stays within the bounds of your sovereign space. You might think that a computer in a shopping cart isn't very useful to you, but this is just a way of thinking about the problem in a new way. And in the future, if you extrapolate from this, maybe you imagine data centers that are cleaner, that don't hurt our energy grid, that don't consume water even. And what we end up with is sort of this world where there's data independence, there's energy independence, and we've really built a whole new way of thinking about these things that's actually sustainable for individual communities. I'm Eric Dawson, and I built a data terrarium in a shopping cart to prove it was possible to power data centers that are really powerful from the sun. If you want to learn more, you can go to earthfriendlycomputation.com.